We're gonna start warming up with two takedowns in case it's like we don't have a lot of people today. So we have space for the takedowns. Okay, we're gonna control cross collar and sleeve, okay? So in the fire, you can op open the collar with your left hand and then grab cross with the right hand like this, okay? Just like that. I like the right hand on the collar. Then I grab the, the sleeve, okay? Um, the first one we're gonna do is just a collar drag, okay? So this is a very common uh, way for you to take down your opponent. It's really effective, okay? Sometimes your opponent will control your collar, right? You have to break the grip, okay? So I like to control the sleeve, squeeze his hand against my chest, and then pop down, okay? Just like that. So if you try to pop like this, it's hard, okay? So squeeze his knuckles against your collar, okay? Because sometimes you try to break the, the grip like this, it doesn't work. So you have to squeeze the knuckles against your collar, and then you break the grip. Why? Because when you squeeze the knuckles against your, your collar, I use this part of my hand right here on top of his hand to squeeze, okay? So he, he relaxes his fingers, okay? And that's easier for me to break the grip, okay? Now I grab cross collar, okay? So then when I'm here, I go for the collar drag, which is super easy to do, okay? I'm gonna aim with my right foot right on his ankle right here, okay? And my left foot, I'll step out, okay? So first, I go with my left foot on the outside, and then my right foot goes up right on his ankle, okay? And I never go down with my lower back and my back on the floor to go for the collar drag, okay? To go to the collar drag. So I have to sit on my tailbone like this, okay? So now I have the weight of my hand on the collar. I don't put his hand on the floor because then he stand up, okay? So I keep holding the collar, and then I aim to control the thigh, then I go with my head right on his wrist. Okay, so now I come up. Okay, there's different ways for you to finish right now. Probably your opponent will try to stand up like this, but I suggest you to keep the hand on the collar and put in pressure right here, okay? So now you're gonna open his, his thigh, okay, open his leg, and kinda like go with your thigh under his thigh. Okay, so I'm here, and he's trying to make a frame. I go like this, and then I start moving forward, so now I got the half guard, okay? So once I get the half guard, I can hug his head, even with the arm like this, it's even better, okay? Don't let him apply the knee shield, okay? We can go back and forth, okay? Again, if you control your collar, squeeze, pop the grip, control cross collar, you can shake your opponent a little bit before, right? And then suddenly you go for the collar drag. Right? Step one, and then step two. Okay, you sit on their tailbone, you see that? Now your head position, very important. Your head, your forehead goes right on his rib, okay, on the hip, right here, and then control the thigh. Don't go right here. Thigh, stand up, drag his leg, try to stand up, and he, so now, now, I'll push right here, look. So I got on the half guard, okay? So now I'm here. Once you get the half guard, you can pass the guard. by bringing your knee right on his, his armpit, okay? And then you staple his leg like that, okay? So now you use your toes right on his calf, and then start bringing your foot closer to his, to his uh, butt, and then go like this, because now you can choose to either go mount or knee belly, okay? Because now it's hard for you to close the door, right? So now, Straight them out to each other. One more time. You can make the grip first, like this. So I like to grab like this. One, two, and then start moving. So and then I wait for this hand. Because then I try to grab my collar, then I break his grip and control, right? Now I go for the collar cut. See that I, I like to hug like this. Okay, this is very good. Super hard for him to move. Plus, with this grip, if you like, you can go like for some other things. If you turtle, you can go straight to his back. With the grip. And usually that happens, right? After you press. Any question about the collar drag? Easy, right? Step, collar drag. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. As you can see, when you get the single leg right here, okay, so you can frame it, the leg like this. And this is very common even in the regular single legs, you know? Like sometimes I'm here, 
and I'll put it frame the leg like this. Because now it's, it's kind of like far from pushing me off. Like it's kind of like far from me to reach his leg, okay? So if that happens, you always have to use this hand right here to do this. Kind of like an arm drag. You know when you do the arm drag? It's like a drag in the leg to the outside. Then you can get a knee tap, right? So when I'm on the collar drag here, you have the hand on the floor. Sometimes you're putting it through frame like this to keep you away from him, okay? And you have to use that concept as well, okay? So I have like to tap. So now your thigh is underneath of him. And look, the weight of the collar right here. Get the weight on the collar. Try to stand up and take it. So now I just push his hip straight so I can get in half there. And it's great to fall, uh, to take him down, sorry, take him down straight on the half guard because now it's hard for him to stand up, okay? So if I take Andy down and try to go straight on belly, for example, he can, he can single leg me now, okay? And now he's on turtle position. I get no control of the situation, okay? So it's good for you to use the, um, the half guard positioning on top right after the takedown. But sometimes, like, when you go for the collar drag, his leg is between your legs, like this, okay? If that happens, then you have to just step forward. Let go of the leg and step forward with this leg. Okay, so now I can easily start going to the back. I like to feed here the collar either here or going straight to the choke because his hands are so busy on the floor, especially if he doesn't put the elbows on the floor, right? He's trying to keep standing. I keep my weight on the collar. And since I know if I try to put this hook, I can fall. Sometimes you try to put this hook here and then he's gonna take your hook out and you can fall. So you can go straight to the collar choke here. And now look, you control his leg, and then you you go for a bow and arrow. Like this. And then you finish it. So you can use both situations. Uh, sometimes it's like it's framing your legs, sometimes between your legs. Okay? If it's between your legs, in this case here right now, I come up and then it's between my legs. I just go like this. You see? I let go of his leg and I step forward with my right leg. Okay, so I need to step in a way that I keep his thigh between my thighs. So now I go on top of him like this, but I go with my hand here. And I take advantage to him. Huh? I take advantage that this, this hand is extending his collar already. So I just grab the collar grip here right away. Once I grab the collar grip, don't go here. Go on the leg. And then you fall to the bow and arrow. Finish your point. You can hold like this, or you can go like that. Okay. So it's a great opportunity for you to set up the choke right away. Okay. If you go with the hand under the arm like this, for example, you can catch the collar, but then you you can choke on this side. You see, because now if you take me out, I'll fall without choking him. Okay. But if I grab with this hand right here, if you take me out, even pulling my head like this, I, I can start choking right away immediately, okay? So because the collar grip is in the perfect spot right there. So now you can both work on both. Sometimes it's gonna frame the leg, okay? So you have to, don't try to spin to go for a collar drag. I see some of you trying to spin like this. Don't spin, it's a drop. Okay, it's kind of like I disappear from, from, from uh, being in front of him, like this, okay? It's kind of like if you try to punch me, I go to the side, okay? I just go to the side and I drop, like this, okay? Don't try to circle, because when you circle, you know, when you circle, you circle as well, like this, and then you miss the leg. You just drop, okay? So I'm here, control. Break his grip, shake. I can even like go for some takedowns, right? Ouch, coach. Then I step and drop like this. Then I grab. So now let's say Andy frames. He framed the leg. Knee tap like a like a leg drag. Push, push, push. Half guard. Then he goes to the first position. If then the legs between your legs, try to stand up, Andy. Don't let him stand up like that. Keep the collar grip. Heavy, try to stand up, you can't, right? So I go here. Now I grab, go to the leg, and then go straight to a bow in there. Okay, and then I finish my point. All right, so you can mix it up. Sometimes you go for the half guard if it frames. Sometimes you go to the back if the legs between your legs, okay? All right, let's go one, two, three. Show you 
a very sneaky way to choke your opponent, okay? Uh, you're gonna open the lapel of your opponent like this, okay? So let's say if I grab cross collar like this, I can grab with my hand facing like this, like a baseball bat, okay? Or I can grab like this, like, like a knife, you know? Okay, so baseball bat or like this. For each one of the, you're gonna choke him, it's gonna be a little bit different, okay? And actually this, this scenario here, you can do two ways to choke your opponent, okay? So let's say if I'm grabbing like this, okay? I'm showing like the choke from standing, so just so you understand. So I have to like to break his posture and throw the collar over here, over the shoulder. Then I pass my forearm over his neck, like that. So then I just choke here. It's super strong, okay? Trust me, it's super strong and I feel super comfortable with my grips. So if you are in the close guard, okay, you have to cover the arm here. So if his arm is over your arm, it's gonna be hard for you to work. So it's kinda like you're gonna do a wizard with the collar grip, and then you, you hold with the, with the elbow like this over his arm. So now what you wanna do is bring his head to this side and then pass your form over the head. So you see that I do all the work with my legs, okay? If I go just with my arm, it doesn't work. Okay, I break his posture towards me, and then I, I bring his head towards the side of the arm that I'm holding the collar, the lapel. And then I just cover like this. Now, choke him. Okay, go back. I can, I can go from out, right? Like this, and then just go from here as well. Okay, and actually this is my good side. I like this side. Okay, let's say you, you, you're here, mount, okay, and then your opponent is trying to escape from mount, okay? You grab the collar like this, okay? Not like that, here. And then you pass the collar over, everything is on this side. Cross collar, grip on the collar, and then you use your knuckles on the floor, and then you take his head off the mat, like this, and now you just open your elbow, and then you get a nice choke, okay? Super hard for you to escape and really effective for the person who's like choking. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> if I if I'm here like playing knee shield, for example, I can grab here. So I can try to go like this. You see that I break in this posture and then I go here. Okay, then I start choking. Okay? So I'm here with him. I can even give him the the half guard. He thinks he's gonna conquer the half guard, right? And you have already the cross grip on the collar. You just have to bring the, the arm over the head like this, then you choke him, okay? It's very strong, okay, super powerful. Again, <clears throat> close guard, okay? Right here, cross collar. Okay, I grab his collar like this. If Andy grabbed the knuckles under my armpit, Usually that happens, go with your hand inside, like this, and go for the arm and have the collar here, okay? So now it's the movement of your leg, okay? So you have to pass your forearm over his head. And to do that easier, move your opponent. I'm gonna move my opponent this way, and then I open my elbow. When he's trying to go back, that's when I go to the choke, and then I finish him. I just use the frame here, and then pull the collar, super strong. Okay, good now. So you can also go like this, wrap it up like this. But for this one, you see, when I grab here and wrap it up, I call this like a, what do you call it? Kashikol, you can see in English. Like the thing you use in the snow. Scarf, scarf, yeah, scarf choke. Okay, so this, it's on the same side, it's when you punch the floor, you punch over the shoulder, okay? This one here, when you grab like this, like a baseball bat, you go as a scarf, like this, and then you choke like that. So and that definitely works from here as well. So you go on the knee shield, and I like to not let my opponent control my collar, okay? So I like to go with my hand like this, try to grab my collar and go under my arm, I just block him right here. And then I look, I take this leg out, he tried to come in and I bring my hand to this side. Now look, 
I got him. Right? Finish. If he if he tried to go for a knee cut, it doesn't work from here because he's gonna be super tall and far far from you. Mm -hmm. I have to put his knee on the floor. I have to do like a knee shield, like a shin to shin. Then I kick his leg out. So now his knees on the floor. Okay, go back. So I'm praying reverse the heave. Block is try to grab my head. So block his arm from grabbing your head. Then you underhook. Then you go here, like this. Then you get. Now he's gonna try to escape, try to run from me. I can even let him mount on me, right? And then I'll, I'll choke him right here. It's really, really hard for him to escape. Okay. Same side, you grab like this, thumb up. Thumb towards the direction of the end of the lapel. Same side. Thumb towards the direction of the, the whole lapel. You do this scarf, okay? Just play around with that. Close guard, mount, and knee shield. Okay, and then we're gonna roll, all right? So I, I don't wanna just to work on the position, on the choke itself. Like maybe you can work on some sweeps, right? Let's say I'm here with Amy, right? I got the sweep and I mount, so now I go to the position. Okay? What happens then I go, boom, finish. Now it's his turn, so he's gonna do sweep or pass, whatever. So he can sweep me and then work. Or even close the guard, you know, and then go from here. Okay? Alright, let's go one, two, three. Thank you.